Just in, LeBron James is joining the Chesapeake Bayhawks. Only kidding. Assistant coach Jamie McNeil is here. He's with the Chesapeake Bayhawks, the lacrosse team. You were just yelling Don Harrison. You know Don from Anne Arundel County days. Great guy. Yeah. Running over Clarks, I bet. Yep, a long time uh, ago. That's all old right. school. Yep. Jamie McNeil is the assistant head coach over there. Hey, um, we got a big game coming up on Saturday. Boston Cannons are coming into town and uh, they're first place in the league, so it should be an exciting contest. Right, we're 5-5 five and five going in, right? 4-4. Four 4-4. And 4 and four. Four and four. 500%. Yep. Now One game away from first. Now, the All-Star Game's tonight. That's correct. 7 and o'clock. most of the team's up there for that, right? Half our team, our coaching staffs, so a lot of our players are either on the uh, world team for the United States or playing in the the uh, all-star aspect. All right, Jamie, of course, grew up with the lacrosse stick in your hand. What, what was the earliest you, you remember lacrosse stick in your hand? Third grade. Third grade. Third grade. And then Long you went to ago. Severn. That's correct. Then you went to Hopkins. Yep. You played with Petro? That, yep. You played Great with player. Quint? Yep. Great player. Coaches were what, Zimmerman? Don Zimmerman, uh, Tony Seaman, so a lot you, of assistants. You learned. Did you ever think at that time that there'd be a pro league like we have with Chesapeake Bayhawks? You know, at that time, college was the epitome of lacrosse at the time. You know, now luckily with the, uh, the MLL uh, celebrating its 10th anniversary, it's taken the next step further. All right, we want to put it up on the board because uh, what is really neat is coming up on Saturday, the alumni game between Maryland and Hopkins. How much fun is that going to be? That's a great time. It's just a great lacrosse day. Um, Name just, names. Who's going to be there? Um, on drop. Well, that's, that's hard to say just because you're going to run the gamut. I mean, lacrosse, you know, people in the 30s and 40s are still playing, but some of the old school guys like Brian Burlace, um, I mean, there's uh, maybe Lou Geiger. We can get, you know, a lot of the old guys out there as well as the, the recent graduates. A lot of those players actually, a lot of our team is actually from the area, so we have some of the best defensemen on our team uh, from both But you clubs. guys still play in the club, so they're all. The they're time. All, all the time. Uh, we're, we're on the screen right now. It's against the Boston Cannon Saturday night at 7 o'clock. This kid's clinic, though, that's where you, you pull in the audience. That's right. A lot of kids come in between 70 and 85. Uh, kids come in, they meet the players, go through the locker room, they all get paired up with a player, go on the field, um, depending on their level of experience or play. The kids, really, the, the players of the team give back. It's about an hour long. Um, it's just a fantastic day, and the kids you know, then stay for the game. Um, um, when you were a kid, who'd you look up to? What what player did you look up to? Uh, it's pretty funny. Most of the guys were at Maryland, uh, like a John Lehman. Um, you know, then Brian Wood from St. Mary's went to Hopkins. Um, you know, it was a s small, close community. That's why lacrosse, well, although it's grown tremendously, mm -hmm. one of the fastest growing sports in America, but uh, everyone really gets along. It's so small. You want to talk about, you know, we, we always say it's the hotbed here, but out in Denver, how many were out there? Over 23,000. It broke the single game um, regular season attendance mark. It was fantastic. Although we lost, it's just a great, you know, venue for lacrosse. All right, so let's show up on Saturday night. And tickets are out fourteen dollars, right, to get in, right? Only fourteen dollars. Yep, it's it's a fantastic day. Um, the venue itself is great. A lot of local players. Almost every school in Maryland is represented some way on our squad. All right, here's the number to call for ticket information. Again, it's at the Navy Marine Corps Stadium, and it's going to be a great event. And it's going to, you, you suit it. What, what position you play? Usually long stick mini, but if I have to play goal, I'll hop in just for the alumni game. Well, you are a brave soul, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. bruised up. Hi, right, Jamie. Nice right, seeing thanks you. Thanks for having man. us. I All appreciate right, it. Go out there and support the Bayhawks down there at the Navy Marine Corps Stadium. All right, Megan. Hi, thanks.